this is dr shrikant from team mds konkar now i am going to discuss about few secrets of dental anatomy preparation in neat aims pj and jipmer point of view so coming to the rough ideology of dental anatomy so hope we have finished this particular subject in our first videos okay with all the carvings and all the tricky task so i want everyone to go back to videos first year to just have a glance about few important aspects that you need to remember or you have remember when you are doing the carvings and the viva work so because most of your questions related to the dental anatomy in examination point of view as an mcqs will move around this area itself so if you just take the neat blueprint out and just have a look around the number of questions that are they going to pick from dental anatomy it's going to be seven out and most of the topics like occlusion or uh, the structure of tempo mandibular joint or the muscles of mastication or few other topics are a part of many other subjects okay so exclusively if you want to have an exclusive look over the dental anatomy dental anatomy will talk more about eruption sequence calcification sequence root and completion sequence and the differences between the anatomy of each and every tooth for example most commonly asked questions are the differences between the primary teeth and permanent dentition in anatomy point of view or they can ask you a peculiar feature which is seen in a peculiar teeth it can be a primary or it can be a permanent tooth or they can ask you the differences between the maxillary canine and mandibular canine or they can ask you the differences between the first and second molars or maxillary and mandibular teeth apart from this they can give you a view of any of the teeth and they can ask you to identify it simply the views that are present in the last few pages of your vetus okay most i hope you remember those days where we used to make a note about the lens cervical area everything like dimensions which is highest which is lowest and all these questions are the most common things that they regularly ask they can ask you diagram based questions they can ask questions at any level so neat is going to have seven odd score according to the blueprint and if you just analyze the uh, recent sessions of aims that is the two sessions of aims uh, for 200 200 scores okay there was somewhere around 6 to 8 questions in this particular area and pgi is going to carry some 2 to 4 or 5 in some situations and same goes with the jipmer to jipmer is also going to carry somewhere around 2 to 4 okay but most of your questions has already mentioned they will move around the eruption sequence they're going to give uh, a particular ace okay they can ask you uh, what are the teeth that are erupted or they can give you that this particular teeth has erupted they will ask you the ace of the child or they can give uh, most commonly diagram based question can be a mixed dentition they will give you a mixed dentition uh, on a opg and they will ask you the tenetate to ace of this particular child is by seeing the eruption sequence you need to identify the rough ace in the four options so this is how and where you need to focus so uh, to my view uh, theoretical aspect means a question uh, which is just based upon a theory or just eruption okay maxillary teeth uh, maxillary canine erupts at uh, ma- mandibular first premolar erupts at or calcification is initiated at or the root and completion is developed at all these are questions where you you have to directly answer okay you have to remember the sequence but at the end of the day you need to remember it's more of an a memory based thing but if you see the recent sessions of uh, either aims or neat most of the questions are application based okay they are they are application based they are going to give a uh, something and they are going you need to apply it for example uh, when you are talking about your pediatrics or endodontics uh, uh i mean a question on apexogenesis and apexification will depends upon the root and completion it means you need to know the root and completion by which you can predict whether to go for apexogenesis or apexification or any other treatment accordingly okay so this is something called as an application based question or they can give the age of a child uh, opg of a child and they can ask an orthodontic treatment related to that so again in this particular content you need to know the age of the child so by knowing the age of the child or age of the 
OPG uh, of the age of the child of the OPG, then you can plan whether to go with a preventive treatment or interceptive treatment or any other treatments. So similarly, you will have application based questions mostly most often and I can assure you that the group is going to help you out in application based questions both the diagram as well as the clinical aspects. So this is what a rough idea and seven marks uh, I'm, I'm allocating seven days along with the day of examination is already the schedules were posted I'll be discussing the schedule too and uh, the book that you need to carry is of course uh, the wheelers uh, that is the dental anatomy physiology and occlusion so give some more importance to occlusion of course occlusion we will do in ortho occlusion we will do in prosto but whatever it is just try to uh, give more importance to occlusion also which is going to be a tricky thing so i want you guys to keep wheelers as a reference and try to refer as much as you can okay so it's going to help you out it's going to make your concept strong it's going to make your notes well so that you no need to waste much of your time in the round two so if you are spending seven days now uh, i hope hardly it's going to take two to three days for this particular subject in round two if your material is properly prepared so next goes next goes uh, what are the things that you need to do like apart from whalers you can keep it as a as a reference book and i feel like uh, dental anatomy uh, dental anatomy uh, in dental pulse is fair enough okay you can you can you can proceed with the synopsis try to finish the synopsis as fast as possible if you have time you can you can start away right now after hearing this uh, video uh, the video chart and i want you guys to start the uh, synopsis part of dental pulse of dental anatomy it is tricky it is more of memory based you need to mug up few things then apply few concepts so that you can retain the subject for a longer duration of time so you can solve uh, the mcqs that are present in the pulse and uh, the synopsis uh, once you're done with that followed by the textbook reading and the video discussions and uh, the regular uh, discussion panel in the in our in our group as well as in our website uh, and that is more than sufficient to practice on n number of mcqs which we are going to provide as a daily examinations so this is what the plan and you can use or keep your uh, power playbook volume 3 where you have dental anatomy as an accessory things so there are few things which were uh, discussed which are added and everything so this is what my rough plan is like you can keep whalers as a reference uh, you can finish your dent dental pulse okay you can finish your dental pulse part and followed by the uh, discussions of the group and followed by the videos that are posted on the group okay so with your power play books okay so these are the mandatory things dental pulse all the chapters with the synopsis and explanation has to be done Next goes with the discussions of the group. Next goes with the video classes of the group and followed by your PP books. So these four are mandatory things. Even then, if you have time, I suggest, okay, I suggest a quality uh, of preparation is more required. Uh, a quality of practice is also more required rather than doing uh, the things here and there, here and there, which all, which almost mimic. For example, if you're doing two books, two basic books, mcqs most of the questions will be just a just like a copy paste version like the questions will be same the answers will be same in fact the answers will differ leads to lots of controversy in this particular subject i don't want that to happen for you so my suggestion is if you have time if you have that extra elements of time i prefer you guys to go ahead and do decks okay there is something called as a dental decks uh, which is useful for nbd for you as a based exam but anatomy part of dental text is decent enough and it's going to be an accessory okay i mean if you want to have a net practice a quality net practice then the accessory thing apart from the uh, daily examinations discussions and the video classes on the group the quality uh, net practice is going to be your dental text okay you can add this as an accessory but make a note i'm mentioning clearly you need to finish this once you finish these four okay in these seven days still you feel if you have time then i feel you better go with this so uh, the next important thing that i want to stress is uh, the time that you spend 
from now okay so now it's not like uh, the regular thing because we are five months uh, away from the examination we hardly have five months that is roughly 150 days so i suggest everyone to split your day into two parts okay so split your day into two parts for example and and i suggest i suggest uh, if you are not a clinician i hope most of the clinicians have not opened their clinics even if you are a clinician and uh, the exception is only for the mother who is having kids or who is very responsible to take care of the family okay rest all people who are not going to the colleges maybe the few gdc people who are running behind the colleges for the op but not full time okay even if they are going to the colleges they don't have high op they are not stressed so it's mandatory that you need to spend a minimum 10 hours per day from now it should uh, the maximum can be up to 15 16 also i don't mind reading 15 16 hours per day but the minimum is 10 for example if you are reading for 10 hours and you need to split it into two halves 5 hours 5 hours okay you have 5 hours you have 5 hours and 5 hours so please do divide your tasks in such a way that you need to cover the things as far for example morning 5 hours for a particular topic you can keep for dental pulse and the followed by the next 5 hours you can keep for rest of the stuff okay so if you do this you will finish the tasks on time and if possible if you work extra for example when you compare with a person who is preparing for 10 hours per day and 15 hours per day 10 hours is going to be two parts as 5 in 5 and 5 if it is 15 hours it's going to be three parts 5 into 5 into 5 so you can finish 5 hours this 5 hours this followed by 5 hours this this is all how much time you sacrifice and you keep in the preparation the more you keep the more smart you work okay the more smart you work and the better your rank will be we always hear a word of uh, world long back when we were in school survival of the fittest okay right so it's 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 goes same with the neat examination also neat rank list also aims examination also aims rank list also whatever it is but now this the statement of survival of the fittest is just a modified now what is that survival of the smartest people who work hard it is common everyone are working hard to be successful now the people who work hard in the smartest way will reach the goals in a limited time so smartness has to be added to their preparation the more you work the more smarter you are the more chances that you will be successful okay i hope uh, you will take these words okay and uh, please do implement this when you start implementing good things in the preparation then the good things will come back to you uh the next important aspect is the rough schedule okay uh, uh, i'm going to uh, talk like mostly uh, in the in the in the first two days our plan will be on this okay we'll talk about the in detail description of the differences between the deciduous and the primary dentition and followed by all the teeth all the all the teeth will be done all the types of the teeth will be done and the features will be done and followed by the permanent dentition all the teeth differences everything we'll discuss then followed by calcification eruption and root and completion to be to be open calcification root and completion uh, calcification uh, eruption and all these are a simple table it's a table of one page but application based things are more important on this area which we'll be discussing uh, goes with the occlusion types of occlusion what are the uses at which age you will see this occlusion or a questions on occlusion which fossa which cusp and all these things anyway i hope you are good at you have a basic knowledge with which you can answer these questions but i am going to add few more things that going to help you out then we'll talk about the dentosseous structures temporomandibular joint physio physiological form of the teeth and all these will be covered which are not that great important but has to be covered then goes with the, i have given one more day extra day for the revision synopsis and everything we'll have so many extra based questions and uh, the examination is going to be on 12 for 120 marks okay so you will have a, a, a diagram based discussion i'll try to cover all 2018 2019 2017 2020 uh, recent questions which you have to be you should know these recent questions so that 
uh, you'll you'll get to know how application based they are going in this particular level so that you get you can get prepared up to that particular level okay we'll, we'll have a diagram based session followed by we'll have a diagram based exam and uh, my ideology is to make things fast and makes things best hope uh, you'll follow this and you'll implement this in the preparation to make your preparation as best and preferably this should be your last preparation no thought of repeating exam because in the last few days i was talking with most of you few people they're telling that um, we are not up to mark i have decided to repeat the exam no corona has changed everything right so covid 19 has changed everything and now even after this situation after this tricky situation if you are postponing things it doesn't make any sense we thought of so much to do this do that to go here lots lots of plans were done right including you whether it's an intern repeater everything they have their hope on their life they have their plans on their life what happened in the last four months is the best example so my suggestion is never postpone anything the time whatever is now is in your hand and please try to utilize it at your best done for now signing off dr srikanth thank you